you. What a great It really thrill. is. I what mean, all of the female comics that I'm friends with in my era have said that you were the one who paved the way for all of us. You're the one we watched on TV. Oh, dear. You're yes. the one we wanted to be like. Ah, uh, yes. It's true. Uh, we have some photos. We have actually a little clip. Can we have the clip of, of when you first time you were on Ed Sullivan? <laughs> That's the before shot. This is the before. Take a look at this clip that we have. Roll oh, this clip. Oh, you got a clip? This is my fur. <laughs> How unsuccessful can a girl look? And everybody thinks I'm wearing anchovies. Now, that was the first time that you were on Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan. Yes. Right. Is that, that was a dream for you to do Ed Sullivan? Well, yes, it was a great dream. In other words, I had to give up props to become a stand-up right. comic. Because, right. you know, when you use props, you're, 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 you're not a, a stand-up. Right. Because, uh, and it was very difficult giving up props. In fact, those were the last props I gave up. Those, little, those were Fitch, to a little Fitch. Because in those days, you had to have a mix stole, you know. Right, right. Uh, now, if you wear fur, they stone you. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Or, I, I remember hearing how you broke into the Friars Club. Oh dear. And you dressed yes. as a man. Uh, Here's uh, yes. this photo. Look at this. Uh -huh. You dressed as a man. I looked like Claude Rains. You did. <laughs> and they had no idea. And it was a male-only Friars Club back That's then. That's true. And it, what happened when they found out that it was you? Uh, well, oh, they, there was a big uh, upset. I mean, it, well, it was the first, first time a woman had been there and heard that language. <laughs> <laughs> I had heard it before I drive. <laughs> but I, I, uh, no one knew that I was there, and of course I left town immediately because, well, it was a big thing. Yeah, yeah sure. They were going to throw the guy out who, whose idea it was for me. It was quite difficult. It took me a whole year to get that thing. I had to have a special wig and a mustache. Now I grow, grow my own. <laughs> What's your husband Fang doing? Oh, well, he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, still. Of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, always gets worse, you know. I mean, uh, he uh, was reading the obituaries the other day, and he said, isn't it just amazing how people die in alphabetical order? <laughs> Genius. No, he's, no, 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 he's no. not a genius now. And uh, he, I mean, he, he just blames me for everything. Uh, one of the kids is studying violin, and you know it's painful to listen. And, ee, and then that makes the dog howl. Oh. Then he tells me, he says, can't you get the kid to play something the dog doesn't know? <laughs> Smart guy, oh, is he? Oh, he's so dumb. No. But he, he's boastful. Those people who are dumb are the most boastful people in the world. Yeah. Because he's still telling the kids how he uh, won a letter at football. Well, and the coach had to read it to him. <laughs> You are performing uh, with Red Buttons at Westbury yes. Music Fair. Yes, I, yes. Um, that's this Friday. This Friday, yes. I must get ready. Yes, I must. Get, uh, get, can I ask you to come back whenever you want? Because oh, we we, we always run long, and I always hate when we run long because you know you are uh, such you an know, inspiration to me. I would like uh, to have you on for the entire hour. Uh, uh, ooh. I really would. Uh, I mean, you're, we could talk. Oh, right, we sure can. It's an honor to meet you, and thank you for doing my show this Friday at Westbury Music Fair. Phyllis Diller. We'll be right back after this. Mm -hmm.